Hello YouTube, today at powerjackrepair.org we got an HP Elitebook uh, each it's a it's an HSN-I04C I'm not sure if that tells anybody anything but the interesting part about this particular motherboard is the board itself is cracked if you look closer right here you will see that there is a crack right here on the outside of the connector and you can see when I move it up and down, uh, the whole thing basically moves, as you can see. So when I'm going to be taking this guy off the motherboard, this part of the motherboard is going to come off from the together with the jack. So will it work when I put the new connector in? This is the new connector. I honestly don't know. I'll put this guy in. I will run the uh, third wire right here. Um, basically this is the ground on the left side and this is uh, and the back right there I have to run a separate uh, wire towards the point on the motherboard right there it's shielded right now so that my hot air won't uh, damage any of the components nearby the jack so let me show you how to take this guy off from the motherboard it's gonna be again it's gonna come off together with this piece right here and hopefully we can mount this guy in there and hopefully we can run the cable uh, a wire from this side to to the nearby component uh, for this guy to work that's for the center pin this leg for the center pin and uh, yeah all right so let me begin by uh, desoldering this guy from the motherboard Alrighty, so in order for us to remove the connector properly, we need to mix the old solder with the new solder. That way the whole thing is going to come apart much easier. And what we're going to do here is we just added some flux. Remove. We added some flux. We're going to be soldering this guy right there. Added more flux here, added more solder here, and we're gonna add more solder right here. All right, and add more solder right there. Good job. Good job. Well, I could probably add more solder to this guy, but it's it's already cracked off. So the best thing to do now is to put some pressure from the bottom put some pressure from the bottom like that power up the hot air all right let's power up the hot air bring the hot air towards this side power up the hot air and we're gonna massage out of there It's already coming out, I can, can feel the whole thing moving. Yep. All right, so I'm just going to add a little bit more, more uh, temperature here. Once the more temperature is added, you should be able to, yep, like that, you see? And it came off with the part of the motherboard. All right, now we're going to reduce the temperature down. To about 320 degrees we're gonna clean up the area right here and right there all right so once once the area is clean <coughs> We're gonna remove the hot air. 
shut down the hot air. All right, so as you can see, that's how it looks like. So the goal is to mount the new jack. Hopefully relatively straight. Like that, okay. And we're gonna put some flux right there and right there. Okay. All right, my goal is to solder this new connector as straight as possible because we don't have the other side to work with. All right, yeah. like that. Looks good. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Use as much flux as possible to Okay, good job. Alrighty. So the goal now is to run the wire from this uh, last leg down to this guy right there. I will show you the point in a second. Alrighty. So the goal is to Solder the wire to this little guy right there. Looks good. Okay. That's a good thing. All right. Looks good. Looks fantastic. All right. So what I want to do is I want to make sure there is some flex in it. And what I want to do is I want to cut the extra wiring right there. All right. Yeah. And another thing you want to do is you want to make sure it's not touching this, this guy right here. This, this is a ground right here, all right? So the only thing left to do is put some insulation underneath it and uh, we're gonna be good. Before I'm gonna put some insulation, I wanna clean this whole thing up. All right. Uh oh. No, 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 no. Don't want it to be touching the. Looks like that. Okay. Let's flip it over. Let's clean this area as well. Looks good to me. Excellent.
All right, now obviously that's not done yet. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use a secret tool called duct tape. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, so let me put some insulation underneath that wire and on top of the wire as well. All right, so I put some tape underneath and then we're gonna put some tape on top. All right, let's put some tape on top. Alrighty, so I put the motherboard back into the casing. The wire is here, here. For some reason it doesn't have the Wi-Fi card. Oh no, there's a Wi-Fi right here. I'm not sure what those two cables are for. Speakers connected, the battery is not connected yet. This touchpad, keyboard cable right there. This is another cable here, SSD. One thing I noticed is that when everything is like that, the plug goes in. The plug goes in. The only thing is that I'm unhappy about the hole alignment. The hole in the casing does not align ideally with the hole in the connector. There is a little bit... I mean, here, I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you that. But let's see if we can... Let's see if you can switch the camera here. And maybe, yeah, you see how the hole is not perfectly aligned. So my job right now is to use the soldering iron on this end right here. Put this guy in there, right here. Then press on it downwards and use soldering iron to lift up the jack slightly from the motherboard so it would be a little bit more higher sitting on the motherboard because you see there is no uh, no no more uh, motherboard on that side so I, you, you, I mean you kind of have to eyeball the alignment here so this is the reason why I'm gonna warm up the hot air one not the hot air the, um, the soldering iron and I'll try to lift it try to lift it probably like that like slightly like that with the tweezers so it would be a perfect alignment the alignment is better, but it's not ideal. I want to probably raise the other side a little bit more. Probably want to raise this side slightly. Yeah, so let's try and raise. Okay. okay. Let's take a look at the alignment one more time. Perfect. This is perfect alignment now. Once the alignment is perfect, I know that the plug can go in and out without damaging the center pin. And we still have to do one last final touch. I'll have to hot glue the area inside of the motherboard to the connector fill everything with the hot glue and hopefully that's gonna be holding the whole thing together before i fill it with the hot glue i need to put this guy in there so that everything would be perfectly aligned when i fill everything with hot glue and then we're gonna test it and see if everything works Alrighty, so i put put some hot glue on that side as well as on the top so now it's kind of sandwiched together the jack is perfectly aligned now we're gonna plug in this guy. And hopefully, hopefully we got the light, yep. We got an orange light right there. Yeah, right there. Let's flip this guy over. Open up the screen. Let's see where is the power button. Hopefully I connected the power button. There is just so many wires on the inside. Let's see if it's going to power up. I don't want to show you the client information just in case anything going to come up. I can hear the fan spinning. Let me pause the video. All right, and the laptop starts. As you can see right there, it says HP. All right, so we got a beautiful sound. Now let's position the camera here. 
and show you that right there it's plugged in as you can see right there okay all right guys thank you so much for watching and i hope that the battery is going to be charging let's see if i unplug it will it shut down right away or will the battery pick up let's see three to one oh it still works all right yeah no we still work we're still working you can see right there unplug unplug it switches from the all right so i think uh, this will last a long 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 time assuming the client's tip of the cord isn't broken uh, one thing you need to understand is if you get the laptop back and you break the connector right away it's not our fault it's the cord's fault uh, we see many times that the client complains that uh, you know we sent a laptop to you for repair and we got it back and it doesn't work and it's broken again it's broken less than a day you see that pin right there if that pin is crooked to the side it breaks the connector right away so once you get the laptop back make sure that the uh, the pin on your plug isn't crooked into any way to the left or to the right or whatever else but yeah so that's a correct motherboard repair on this uh, hp elite book what are the more well it doesn't really tell me so yeah it's i guess it's hsn i o4c or maybe one zero four c whatever um so yeah thanks so much you guys take care and have a good day thanks